Hi guys, today I'll be teaching you how to transpose. Nice and easy, we'll be starting with the basics. Uh, here we got A, B, C and D. Uh, I'm going to try and find A. What do we have to do when we're trying to find A? We have to get A by itself on the equal sign. So basically what I'm going to do, I'm going to piss the B off. Let's piss the B off. How do we do that? We have to cancel it with something by itself. So, B on the other sign of the division line. And uh, basically it's going to be B over 1. Um, that will be a time sign in there. Probably done it on the wrong side, but that's okay. Um, okay, cool. Whatever I do on one side of the equal sign, I have to do on the other side of the equal sign. You may remember some, something like this in high school um, or whatnot. B cancels out with itself. I'm left with A over 1 equals C times B over D times 1. Uh, excellent. So uh, what's A times... Well, sorry, what is A divided by 1? Uh, it's going to be itself, isn't it? So we can rewrite this with just A. And over here on the other side of the equal sign, we've got C times B, or we can just write CB for you guys, um, divided by D times 1. What is D times 1? It's going to be itself, isn't it? For example, if I've got 10 times 1, the answer is 10. Um, so it's going to be D. Cool. Let's tick that. We've found A. Let's go to the next uh, the next slide. Here we've got find B. This one's a little bit different. Uh, the way I do it, there's many different ways of doing it. This is the simple way that I'd like to do it. So we have to find B. We have to find B. Get B by itself. We have to get rid of the A. How do we do that? Well, we're going. I'll do it properly this time over here. We have to get um, to find A by itself over this side. Um, to do that, we have to hit one over A. As you can see, I've got the one on the other side of the the division sign this time. And we're going to do the same on this side. So 1 over A times 1 over A. Excellent. Over here, the A's can now cancel. And I'll rewrite what I've got. So I've got 1 over B equals C times 1 over D A. Excellent. Um, over here, what is C times 1? Again, it's just itself. So I'll get rid of that. Now. I've got the 1 over B. I can't give my answer in 1 over. That's a bit silly. Um, it's basically something called the reciprocal. What we can do when we've got a reciprocal is we can basically flip both sides of the equal sign to get rid of the 1 over. So I'm going to flip it over. Let's flip it. Now hopefully I've got enough room. Um, we're going to leave, we're going to have B over 1 equals D A over C. Now what's B divided by 1? I'll use my analogy, 10 divided by 1 is 10. So it's going to be itself. So we can get rid of that. And we're left with B equals DA over C. Easy. Now, just quickly, I'm going to do the others really quickly. Um, just try and keep up. Find C. As you can see, it's on the other side of the equal sign. We're here. Uh, same concept, just the other side of the equal sign. It all works the same though. So we've got to get rid of the D. I'll just do it quickly because you're going to get it. D over 1. D's cancel out. I'm left with C over 1. D times A over 1 times B. We know that one uh, B times by, its, by 1 is going to be itself. Uh, and we're left with... And C divided by 1 is going to be itself. Cool. So we're left with D A over B equals C. Tick. And you can just swap them around. Um, quite easily, yeah, you swap them around, it just looks a bit nicer. But that's basically the answer. The big thing with that is just with the reciprocal, remembering to flip. Uh, in the electrical industry, we have uh, something called parallel circuits. When figuring out the total resistance of a parallel circuit, we have to do uh, use the reciprocal method, and it involves the flipping. Uh, D, really quickly. Um, Again, if you know this, just flip, just uh, fast forward 30 seconds into my video. We get a little bit different this time. Uh, D, got to get D by itself. Um, so all we'll have to do is get rid of the C over here. How do we do that? Easy. Again, we just put the C down the bottom. It's got to have that one over though, yeah? Do the same on the other side. One over C. C is now cancel, cancel. I'm left with over here 1 times A equals C, I'll write it C like, like that, CB, and I'm left with the 1 over D, again the reciprocal. What are we going to do? 
flip, always flip. Rewrite it as uh, D over 1 equals CB over 1 times A. Hopefully you can see that. Again, 1 time, that's a 1. 1 times that by A is going to be itself. So we can take that off and we've got the A. Excellent. Uh, D divided by 1 is itself. So my answer is now, I'll write it here, CB over A equals D. Found D, nice and easy. Okay, this is to do with transformers. Um, basically, VP equals the voltage in the primary winding. Voltage in the secondary winding is VS. Uh, numbers of turn in the primary is NP. Numbers of turns in the secondary winding. And here I've got current, which is, its uh, symbol is I. So the current in the secondary and the current in the primary. Can we see that the uh, they're actually reversed over here? So this is kind of like a ratio. So basically, and it, and it is interchangeable. Okay, so we've got three different factors. Basically, um, for example, I could choose any of these two. For example, I could choose this and this and I could leave out that like I have done here but you will see what I mean in a sec when I start talking about it um, you have three of these factors you can get the fourth just like Ohm's law if you have two of the, th the, the factors you can get the third for example if I have volts and amps then I can get my resistance if I have my resistance and my amps I can get my volts easy here I need three factors to get the fourth remember that um, just remember, the, with a transformer, uh, as you step up the voltage, you're going to step down the current. And as you step down the current, uh, as you step up the current, you're going to step down the voltage. <laughs> right, cool. Next one. Um, I'm just going to do a quick example with uh, the transformer uh, formulas. You'll see that there's a very uh, strong correlation here with what I've just done and the transformer formulas. Same concept. Don't panic when you're seeing the extra letter. It's just a, another way of saying what that item is. I'm just going to find VP. We have to get VP by itself. Make that the subject. So we have to get rid of the VS by timesing VS over 1. Do it on the other side. VS over 1. VS cancels. And we're left with VP over 1 equals... NP times Y, uh, oh, that's a V, ooh, that's not good, VS over NS times Y1, NS times by 1 is going to be itself, uh, VP divided by 1 is itself, we are left with, here we go, I'll draw it over here, VP equals NP NS Oh, I did it again. I'm an idiot. You get it. Over NS. Ah. There's our formula. Okay. One more. This is probably the hardest of the of the um, transposing methods. Uh, okay. I've got to make sure my picture's in shot. Uh, VS is the subject here, so I need to get rid of the VP, uh, the voltage in the primary. So we're going to need two times it by one over VP. Doing the same on the other side, the VPs now cancel out, and we're left with, I'll rewrite it, 1 over VS equals NP times by 1 over NSVP. Now NP times by 1 is just NP. Can't do the same over here, we've got the reciprocal, we've got to flip everything basically. So. We're going to flip everything. I'll rewrite it over here. Um, I'm just going to flip. You kind of get the, here we go, In the sh you get the uh, gist of things. So VS over 1 equals NSVP over NP. VS divided by itself is itself. Sorry, VS divided by 1 is itself. And that's our formula. That's how to transpose easily with Jamie.